Boomers. And we've been talking about uh, redirecting uh, some of the URLs and links that you have up here or just some of your links so that they can go to where you want to um, when you change your permalinks. And we showed how you can change some of them in direct, uh, one by one with the redirection plugin. Now the redirection plugin will do more than that. I just don't have all that here in this tutorial here. Uh, but a good way to redirect them is let me show you here using the little tool by Yoke. Okay, and if you've got a whole bunch of pages and you want to that you have linking from other websites and you want to change your uh, permalink structure inside your thing, then I suggest you go on over here to I'll put the link to it uh, to yoast.com. Now the first thing they have you do is you change it to what you want, like post name. That's what the suggestion is to change it to post name because that's the good way to have structured it, and that's what the tool is set up for. And let's say maybe you had it set up before so that it was showing the date and the name or the month and the name or even the numeric, okay? You go back and you go into your settings and you set the permalinks to post name. Once you've done that, you want to do something so that when someone goes to those old links you have places, that they go to your new places. And they're doing this with, with the HT access file that you have. Um, and um, in WordPress, uh, sometimes it's a hidden file and hard to find. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on this Generate Redirects. Okay, I have this filled out. This is the name of the domain. Now, this particular blog is in a folder, Homegrown Lifestyle. So I'm putting that here too. If this is where your blog's at, just leave just your domain name. In this case, I've got the folder I'm putting there. This was what the old permalink structure was. We're going to check on a link with that, and we're going to click on the Generate, and it gives you a piece of code. Now, this code is what goes into your HT Access file, and I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, one way to do that. Okay, uh, my host is IX Web Hosting, and it's a little bit different than some, and I went into Manage for the my account, and then I go into File Manager, and from here, I go ahead and find the... Uh, blog that I have, and right there you can see the HD access file. Sometimes these are hidden and not showing up. I can see this right here, and then what I want to do is I want to edit the HD access file, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit again here so the edit will show up. They have something new showing up on here, just a minute. Okay, I'm back in here, and I'm not sure what that's, that's changing some things here that I'm not familiar with. We're hitting the edit button right down here, and this is what works well for this. And I'm going to go ahead and put that piece of code they gave me right up here at the top. Just put it at the top, so that's not the piece of code. Okay, here I am with the piece of code. And I'm going to copy this whole thing. I just put it at the top, so I'll just put it at the very top. And here I went and I pasted it in up to the top. And then we're going to hit save. Okay. It should be saved now. I'm turning off the redirection uh, plugin because it was redirecting the old one to the new one that I wanted. And what I'm doing here is I'm not setting up the site right now because I'll just have the whole thing set directly on the regular permalinks. That's what I had before. Uh, but I'm turning it off so we can check and see how this HD access is redirecting for us. As you can see, the redirection is turned off. These are the ones that we did. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to just go ahead and click on this one first and see what it does. And it opens up in the new window, right place, and it says oatmeal.slash cake. 